Hello everyone, Dan Carter here, thanks for tuning in again. Um, in this video I'm going to cover some frequently asked questions that I get sent in with regards to the continuous loop low machine. Best way to tie a knot to join the line uh, together to create that loop. Uh, the best way I find to tie the lure to the line to help it carry around the pulleys. Um, I'm getting a lot of feedback saying that the line's snapping when they've got the course set up. So we'll just go through these these procedures and and it will help you um, create a decent course with the continuous loop. So first of all we're going to uh, show you an example of the blood knot uh, joining the two lines together. So you've set your course up and you've come return back to the machine and you've got two ends. So you take one, you cross them over like so and then you want to hold the cross over and wrap round three times with one. The same one, you want to pass through that crossover like so, and then you want to wrap the other end round three times. Now you want to pass that through the same loop that I passed the first one through. like so and then you want to pull it nice and tight that locks together nice so once you've got your loop joined together you then want to attach your lure to this loop now some people have been joining the lure halfway down um, or a quarter of the way down and this, in turn, will, will cause your line to snap because what's happening, you're asking the line to pull the lure and it's hitting the pulley midway on the lure and this is getting trapped around the lure itself. So we want to help the course as best we can. So I tie my lure to the very tip of the, um, the toy itself. Then when it comes in and hits the pulley, only the tips hitting the pulley and it casts around and the course in effect stays nice and simple. So when I join the lure together I've got my loop, I put my put the loop in between those those two fingers there, I'll grab the back so I've got now a triangle and then wrap my, my fingers in so I've got that kind of like a B or a figure of eight and then loop it back round and then I've got a nice little loop that I can pass that nose through I hope you can see it and then just give it a pull and then the tension on the line keeps that attached real nice so we've got our uh, loop set up toys on now it's a case of getting a decent amount of tension so that this wheel pulls the line in and passes it back out. Another frequent question that I get is, well how do I change the direction of the large machine? These large machines are one direction only. As you're facing the machine, the wheel goes clockwise. So one direction, um, mini machines, you've got forward or reverse. Um, you'll see that I've got a line going in that direction and then the line coming back in is kind of skew with to the machine. So I'm gonna use this last pulley just to bring this line in line with, with, the, other, with the other side. So once you get to this stage, you think you might have enough tension there. So before even getting the dogs out, I send the lure round the course once. Um, this will straighten the line out and give it, it will in effect be more slack. So we'll then take the machine back and create a little bit more tension. 
power button on, speed on, and remote on. See the line's quite slack now. So I'm just going to, now that's been around once, I'm going to bring the machine back. I don't know, I've come back probably 30 centimetres and I can feel already that's quite nice and tight. So a question I get asked quite a lot is, you know, what happens when the dog's feet touch the line while the uh, machine's in action? The only way I could tell about testing this was to actually tread on it barefoot myself, which I'm going to prove to you now. Um, I don't recommend it to do it at home, but I'm just going to do it um, just to prove that there's no effect to the dog's feet if they do tread on the line while the lure's in motion. spinning and then we've got a snap so nine times out of ten the dogs you know they will tread on the line but it's going to be for a split second I literally put my foot on there for a good five seconds and you've seen that the line snapped it's not going to act like a cheese wire and cut into the dog's feet so another question that I get asked quite frequently is Danny the the lure's travelling too fast on the continuous loop. It is a fast machine. Um, my answer to this is don't keep your finger on the remote constantly. Just on. You know, let, let the dog catch up. Um, it's not a case of keeping your finger on it and letting it taz around the course so many times so the dog's just going to get fed up of that. Um, you'll also notice, well another question I get asked is when the, when the lure comes around the wheel you know, it's, it's, it's going around the wheel and it's flying off and, and the loop's all ruined and, and things like that. When I've got it coming in and you've had, a, you've had a bit of a play with it, just release the power on the, moat, on the remote around about, I don't know, 10 yards from the machine and let the, let the machine, the motor overrun, let the lure around the wheel, if that makes sense. Um, I'll just demonstrate this for you. Uh, without having it on full power, when it's going around at speed, it's, it's liable to jump in a little bit. Just a case of having a play with it and, and, um, and just getting to grips with it, really. Um, but I can assure you, if you follow these, follow these uh, procedures, uh, you'll, you'll not have many issues. <laughs> so, Tanner, who's coming um, coming on a treat and uh, becoming famous quite quick. And I've got Red, a friend of mine's Jack Russell, who's raring to go. Um, so I'm going to set this lure going and you'll see him have a bit of a run. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> See, I'll just once the dogs have caught it, take the line off the wheel, and we'll just let them have a bit of a play with it.
again thanks for tuning in um, and just before I forget when you've come to the end of the day and you've finished training um, don't forget that exchange this wheel for your drag wheel um, cut your loop attach your loop to the line if there's any on there if not just tie it to your uh, your drag spool and just use the machine to drag that that line and it saves you walking around the whole course and wrapping it around the spool itself you know use the machine to uh, to wrap that line in for you so uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, we'll catch you next time thank you very much for watching